Hello and welcome to our 10th episode of Chongqing Opportunity. I'm your host, Vivian Yim. And today we are going to focus on the key topic that is the China-Singapore Chongqing Demonstration Initiative on Strategy Connectivity, or the CCI, which is centered around the new International Land Sea Trade Corridor in Western China. And let's take a look at the fruitful results that Chongqing and Singapore have achieved through the partnership in transport and logistics. This April, the Chongqing Science and Technology Bureau and the Yubei District People's Government signed a number of cooperation agreements with institutions like the Singapore Science and Technology Research Council and the Singapore Polytechnic University. A partnership that will bring Chongqing a wealth of new opportunities from abroad. New projects featuring in the CCI involve the Southeast Asia Cooperation Project for the normalized supply of Zhongshan County oranges and the Chongqing Singapore Technology Cooperation Project, the Youth Talent Cooperation Project, and etc. As an example of this project, the first batch of 25 ton container trucks loaded with Zhongshan County naval oranges set off this March and the normalization of Chongqing citrus export will allow the municipality to explore and gain experience in cold chain logistics based on the land sea trade corridor. Singapore has become the first overseas market for Zhongshan County oranges to create a high-end international brand. And Chongqing will use the trade networks of Singapore to extend the business of Zhongshan oranges into Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and even the greater markets beyond. Last October, Zhongshan County also connects with the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry and other merchants to hold the 2020 Chongqing Zhongshan Orange International Cloud Production and Marketing Meeting. They also established a long-term cooperation mechanism with over 10 companies through a cloud-based sign ceremony. And following their direct export to Singapore, the naval oranges of Zhongshan County received a warm response from Rikens. Next, Zhongshan County will strive to promote their citrus products to wider international markets as well as to encourage industrial upgrades, accelerate circulation, and expand the trade of speciality agricultural products. As a flagship of the CCI, the Land Sea Corridor has bucked the train by integrating three modes of transportation and which are combined rail and sea shipping, cross-border highways, and international highways. Since 2020, freight transportation using these modes has increased by 30%, 132%, and 145% year-on-year, respectively. And the Land Sea Corridor has played an active role in the stabilization of supply for the regional industrial chains, fighting the epidemic, and facilitating international trade in an effective manner. And meanwhile, the scale of the China-Singapore multi-modal transport project has expanded, and the asset light companies are actively exploring new possibilities for business and trade through the logistical channels. In addition to transportation and logistics, key areas of cooperation in the CCI also include finance, aviation, information, and corporations. As of this March, China and Singapore have signed a total of 111 cooperation projects under this framework with a total value of about 21.4 billion US dollars. And meanwhile, 150 projects in the China-Singapore cross-border financing channels have come to fruition, which has raised financing equivalent. And this is our end of the program today. And please stay tuned to our next episode of Chongqing Opportunity. And thanks for joining us.